Good morning, guys. How are you? I hope um, I find you well. We're back with our with another educational and repair video at the same time. So, one of my connections uh, requested that uh, I should uh, explain further uh, from my previous video uh, the position of of our our valves. That is uh, the inlet and the exhaust valves in relation uh, to the uh, position of the piston. So, uh, if my number one is on compression, uh, it means both both inlet and exhaust valves they are closed. Okay, uh, since they move uh, in a pair, um, number four. Uh, goes up simultaneously with uh, number one so it means if my number one is on, com on, on compression both valve closed it means my number four piston is going up uh, as well and it's going up on exhaust uh, the piston makes uh, two movements that is up and down uh, when going up it goes up on two strokes that is on compression and on exhaust okay and when uh, the piston is going down it goes down on two strokes as well uh, that is on power and on intake okay and on compression if, it, if it's if it, it, it's going up on, on compression it means both my valves they are closed okay and um, on exhaust it it means uh, my exhaust valve is open and inlet valve is closed okay and then on 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 intake it means my intake valve is open and my exhaust valve is closed and then on power on power it goes down it means both valves are closed and the piston is going down i hope that is clear so what i'm going to do today um today i'm going to to just time this this engine i'm going to do what is called ignition timing what do we, do we mean when you when you talk about ignition timing it means a lot of things need to need to be timed here so that this engine can start okay i know most people just just know how to go inside your car and you 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 put your 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 key on and then your car starts running but what exactly uh, goes on there so what happens is uh what you time you time your position of your piston and you time your your valves your opening and closing of your valves and you time um you time also uh your 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 spark plug uh you time your spark plug and you also time the, your injection that is your, your 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 fuel your petrol or your diesel so that is what we call ignition timing so all of these components they uh all of these components they they make sure that your car uh starts running so what i'm going to do today i'm going to show you what we call ignition timing on this it's a 2az uh it's a toyota 2az it's a two liter engine so what i'm going to do uh it's got a timing chain some cars they use timing chains some cars they use uh, timing belts and um, please guys I forgot to say this please make sure you prioritize on safety it's safety first please safety first okay so this is my timing chain it's got three marks one is for the, for the crankshaft other one is for the camshaft this is for the inlet uh, camshaft and this is for the exhaust camshaft so what I'm going to do so what you do is you turn your engine you make sure you make sure your number one is on top dead center so I have removed a spark plug number one so when I turn my engine to check properly check properly this this screwdriver I put my screwdriver there it's going down and it's coming up again coming up coming up now it's on top dead center it's not moving anymore so you can also see that your piston is on top dead center. you see this wood draft key 
if it's on 12 o'clock position it means my number one piston is on top dead center it's up and what i do i okay can you can, can you come close you see this mark here there are two marks one uh it, it doesn't come all the way through the one that comes all the way through is is the timing mark it comes on top and it aligns with the mark which is um on this uh camshaft holder here also oh, oh, this that's my inlet and that's this is my exhaust it's got another mark also here this mark aligns with another mark which is on this camshaft holder and to to to, to make sure that your piston i mean your your valves they are they are uh, they are on, on on compression stroke they are fully closed if you check my cam lobes all of them they are pointing outside which means they are up they are not compressing my valves down okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to put my timing chain um sorry for that Okay. You will come across this uh, in this automotive world. Okay, we're done. Okay, so what you do is if you come here, uh, you come to this crankshaft. There is a mark here. Here. When your piston is up, there's a mark here. Make sure, just make sure this mark aligns with, uh, you see, you see this where your, your where your crankers uh, meets your block. Just make sure that your mark is almost lining with that. So what you do is, uh, you come here. This is my my my, my crankshaft mark. It comes there like this and you come on top here come on top here that's my inlet mark and you come here also you come here and my exhaust mark is on position so uh i come here i have uh, this thing is just uh to to it's just for 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 holding my my chain in position so that it won't make okay okay it's just a small 10 millimeter bolt Just make sure all bolts you start tightening by hand. Don't use the spanner um, uh, to make sure that you don't rip uh, some threads off and all that. So make sure you tighten by hand. All bolts, just start by tightening, tightening by hand. Okay, once my, my crankshaft is, uh, my, my chain is in position, uh, make sure you have these two guys. They lock your, your, your chain in position so that, and, and also, um, on the front cover my, my 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 tensioner comes here it comes on the front cover so when you once you put your chain like this you don't turn this engine before you lock with your tensioner please don't do that okay this is my boat it's a very special boat uh, so what happens here it, uh, this is my my chain guide Make sure, making sure my, my chain is in position. Da, 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 da. Then I use my I use my hands to just tighten my bolt to make sure that the bolt is just free like this. Okay, and then this is my other chain guide. This one comes 
here. Just, uh, uh, you see, my chain is a bit tight. So, what we do is just turn a bit your engine. Just turn your engine a bit like this. Just turn just a bit, not very much like this. Okay. And, um, where am I to go? These are just a small 10 millimeter bolts. One comes here. One comes here. And the other one comes. Comes there. So then you just tighten these bolts with your with, with your spanner with your, this one is, is 12 millimeter and this one is these are 10 millimeter bolts so you just tighten them so once once you once you've done this it means you've you've timed your engine it means we have completed our ignition valve timing this is what we do it, uh, just uh, to recap timing this engine it means we are timing the position of this piston to the position of valves and also we are timing uh, the time that our spark is introduced and our fuel is introduced there's one thing that you, you, you must never forget never never ever forget uh, this guy right here is the crank uh, is the uh, is the, is the, is the what do you call um, is the um, uh, crankshaft sensor it sends signal to the crankshaft position for, to the to the to the crank crankshaft sensor this one so what happened well, well, this one comes here it's, it's got an f an f this f is for front so what you do is this one comes here never ever 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 forget to put this one before you put your front cover your front cover comes here so when you do this you've completed your ignition timing and your car is ready to start. Thank you.